Hey there guys, it's Ibideki Ben here. So uh, this is the Red Rocket uh, settlement that uh, I've been asked to try to use vehicles and things as barriers and walls to surround it. So uh, this was a special request that I had from one of my followers on YouTube. So uh, this basically, uh, this settlement I've used a hell of a lot of mods for this one. Pretty much mainly the unlocked settlement objects. I've gone way over the build limit on this. Um, I'm using a mod that allows you to go 10 times past your build limit. So it's a bit stuttery when I'm inside because I've used so much on here. The, who the hell are you? So, right, going in the main entrance. So outside, sorry, we've got a sign and then we've got a damaged tent. Um, dead robots and uh, dead Brahmin as well. Something's taken a bite out of him. And we go inside, so on the left, this first building, uh, well, sorry, not building, bus, this is where the, the police is, this is where the guard lives. So uh, these tents, these actually act as beds. Um, the, settlements don't, the settlers don't actually use them, but they count to the bed count by one, so it's kind of useful. So I've got some uh, turrets on there and on top of all of the buses there are turrets and spotlights going around so it allows for 360 degree protection. So uh, I've used various uh, wooden junk fence pieces to fill in the gaps where I can't actually put uh, vehicles on there because I can put another bus across here but the ground is so uneven it looks like it's floating and makes it look a bit silly. So anyway, going in here this is where I keep the Brahman and this is where this is my policeman, so basically uh, he can overlook the whole area and he can see what's coming. You've got the uh, the living Brahman and the dead ones. So this is a mod, this actually counts for I think about six food counts for, for this one like tanning rack. And it's all fenced off as well so the Brahman don't go anywhere. Uh, moving round you've got the kind of communal area so they've got their outdoor fire they've got their fish to eat and other shit and trash can and some dead robots from my recent attack you've got your uh, communal area and we've got our settler shop so we've got one here and another one over there so this little hut building here this is actually where people come to go to the toilet and wash so we've got our shower bath and then you've got the sink and mirror and stuff the toilet not in very good condition but you know can't be helped and then you've got your sink as well it's probably the nicest thing in here so moving on through this side uh, this area this is where the far main farm is so we've got all of our uh, food here and each basically property has its own mini farm in there so we've got our generator here for this one so we've got this place so this is kind of like a uh, where you can get drugs if you need them so there is usually a settler standing here uh, I have like an invisible mat on the floor so the settler kind of just stands overlooking and then going inside we have where they live so we've got the uh, TV chair and then their huge bed and their toilet uh, moving into this building, this basically is just a bunch of beds and a sofa. So this is kind of like uh, the the cheap shit accommodation for, for guests and settlers who don't work hard. Uh, moving through to the back, uh, we've got this place. So I've got another tanning hide here. This again adds another six to the food. And uh, yeah, that's all outside. So we've got a desk in here with a computer. The computer, you can't actually use it. Uh, neither with the uh, radio, they're just there for effect. But the uh, we've got a washing area here, so settlers can do their laundry. Going upstairs, we have a communal area. So I've got all my bubble heads there. Just need that last one, and then we've got our communal relaxation area and some storage. going round to the back so I've got my hidden generator here because I do need extra and it's all sealed off so no one can really get in so going up the stairs to this building we have some beds in here really shitty place this is where the settlers that I don't like live 
they've only got their toilet and in here we've got another couple of beds another one here for a cheapy living area and then in here we've got our armory so we've got our farmers working their asses off and we have our last bus so this last one you've got a nice double bed in there it's furnished and it's got some outdoor furniture as well so I've tried to make this settlement as realistic as possible and uh, to keep it well lit and pretty much that they can you know live off of the land they don't ever have to venture outside sort of thing so I've got a strange m mole rat here that seems to be tamed I don't really know how exactly but uh, must be a glitch because it must match the strange settler that's up on the roof there I don't know how he got up there but anyway so yeah this is my uh, new and improved red rocket so it's a bit of a junk town it's made out of old buses and broken fence pieces and things so uh, yeah that's about it so uh, I hope you uh, like this and if you do then uh, you know please let me know and I, maybe I'll make some more like this thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video Thanks to everyone for watching and supporting my channel. As always, please leave a like and comment as your feedback is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe now. Also, you may like to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, add me as a friend, add me to your Google circles, follow me on Instagram, add me on Tumblr, join my group, subscribe to my Twitch account, reshare my Facebook posts, retweet all my tweets, like all my statuses and pictures coming from everything I've done and watch every single video I've made twice. Thank you.